There was the wrong kind of pretty in pink, Uprising, which forever altered the John Hughes penned romantic comedy that hit theaters 35 years ago. To hear director Howard Deutsch tell it, the people rose up during the first test screening, booing the film's original ending, a never-released version that saw Andy, Molly Ringwald, end up happily with her fellow other side of the track's comrade, the utterly devoted ducky, John Cryer. It left entitled, Rich Hottie Blaine, Andrew McCarthy, out in the cold after he ghosted his pledged prom date, have you no shame, sir, because the working-class outsider Andy wouldn't fit in with his country club life. Up to that point, the screening had been like a rock concert. And we got to the ending, and they started to boo, says Deutsch, who insists there were actual boos. That young audience, they did not want Molly to end up with John Cryer. The girls were like, forget the politics. We want her to get the cute boy. That visceral reaction left screenwriter and producer Hughes, who died in 2009, and the first-time director, squirming in their theater seats. We both had a heart attack, says Deutsch. They huddled to remake the ending, with Hughes writing a new five-page conclusion that grows more surprising with each passing year, having Andy choose uber-privileged Blaine over working-class Ducky. It goes against every underdog love prevails rule and the whole movie had built towards Andy and Ducky ending up together. But Deutsch moved heaven and a fake prom for the pivotal revamping. We had one day to reshoot the entire ending. There were all kinds of obstacles to overcome making that work, he says. One headache in particular sticks out. McCarthy had shaved his hair for a Broadway play, forcing him to don the world's worst Blaine wig on the soundstage recreated to look like the prom, originally shot at Los Angeles' historic Biltmore Hotel Ballroom. The key story change was making Blaine, who was originally featured with a different prom date on his arm, look sympathetic. In the new version, he attends the prom solo, looking heartbroken. He tells off his obnoxious, rich buddy Steph, James Spader, and comes clean to Andy before professing eternal love, kissing her cheek and exiting to OMDs, if you leave. Ducky okays Andy's departure to follow Blaine for the movie ending smooch. If you don't go to him now, I'm never going to take you to another prom again, Ducky says. Something about that dialogue, he sacrificed for her, says Deutsch, explaining why it works. During the next test screening, the audience was, went crazy, for the revised ending, says Deutsch. They were satisfied, fulfilled and delighted. And I agreed. He had a box office hit, $40 million, which became part of a generation's upbringing. The change obviously has not hurt the movie over time, he says.